Hello everybody. Wow, look at this. We got a big group and we are in Cubics Park. This place has been here for, well, longer than we have and we have never True. been here. <laughs> never been here. And now they have a gondola ride that runs up the river here. Again, never done that. And we didn't do it tonight either because, well, tonight is Wednesday. It's not that busy. A lot of things did close a little earlier, but on the weekend, it's absolutely crazy. It would be impossible for us to record. And so I thought this would be a good time. And I'm joined by, well, two other Americans. You've already met Stephen. And then we got, <laughs> this time we got though, Mark and Sidi. Okay, and Bay. And Bay. 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 I say Bay. Oh, terrible. Say <laughs> bay. 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 Yeah, I bet bay. he says that a lot. Hey, Bay. <laughs> hey, Bay. Um, and you know, the interesting part is uh, about the, these two guys are American here and two Filipinas, but they as well all of course bianca i'm sorry i'm sorry the half, the half Filipina. listen nobody forgets half, bianca I, ever wait. nobody ever forgets uh, bianca actually yeah. minority right now you, yeah you oh. go with because, because technically three you're the western girl that's true you're the hop, what, hop. She, she worked at Hop, hop. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so uh, the interesting out? part so about these two guys, yeah, they yeah. never met. Do that. And we're like matchmakers <laughs> here, okay? We we were playing matchmaker here uh, where we introduced two people that live, uh, lived on the same island the whole time. Hello. They both lived on Palawan, uh, one in oh, Caron yeah. and one in Puerto Princesa. Wait, aren't those and, and they're yeah, just like different out. ends of the island, like but they're away. both into the same kind of things. And, you can and guess you what? Now we, we've managed to make them together. So anyway, say hello, guys. Are you, you doing? Oh. <laughs> You've all met Stephen, yeah. by the way. And Stephen and Bay have been have been in we one of our lives. Lives, yeah. And uh, but but oh, this yeah. is this is all yeah. new for Mark. We gotta do it again. That was so good. And of course, we're here because of Michael. I mean, is is him and Bianca's videos actually brought us here to the city? Right. So see, and we're very Thank impressed. You. It's Thank it's you. pretty amazing. It's a great city. It really is. It really I just is. want to see Bianca because she's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, what a sucker. What a sucker. <laughs> you know. So really quickly, Cubics Park yeah. is located not far from SM Mall. There, there's the uh, oh, Gasano yeah. Mall right yeah. over here. Uh, this place is a set of restaurants that are all sea containers stacked up in different combinations with different types of restaurants. So it's a really cool place to hang out. Like I said, it gets really crazy here on the weekends and they have live bands here. And the food and drink, well, I don't know how expensive the, the drinks yet. are, yeah. but the food is cheap. Yeah. That's all I know. I, I look yeah. at the menu, okay? Yeah. It's a big dog walking park. Uh, <laughs> wow, a big yeah. dog walking park too. Yeah. So yeah, this is a really cool spot that we have yet to come to. We've seen it in the distance and we were like, oh, we got to make a whole video just for this. Otherwise we yeah, wouldn't bother. Yeah, it's really cool how they have sea containers as kind of like, yeah. Well, and they call it cubics mm -hmm. to play right. on that, exactly. right? Right? Yeah. Right. They could have called it Tetris, though. <laughs> that would have been, been good. That would have that that been, been great. Yeah. I'm just saying because the, the, the containers are colored, so it's right. like, right. Yeah. They definitely, Either way. They and so you've already heard from Stephen and Bay if you watch our live. If not, you can check that out. Um, about what they think of Iluilo coming from Palawan. Like, Palawan, if you don't know anything about Palawan, it's like going to Fiji, you know, it's like the, the, the premium of the premium when it comes to the Philippines of, you know, that picturesque yeah. tropical island. Nature. And sure. Yeah, they right? have it's, a lot of people are like, what? You live on Palawan? Like, people used to say that about us on Boracay, but no, Palawan, Palawan is like no, another yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, Palawan's probably... You know, it was voted the number one island in the world a couple right. of times. Right, in Asia, I believe. Was it? No, was it? No, uh, yeah. Maybe. I maybe. Yeah. yeah, either way, yeah. it was voted top yeah. of a something. A couple years. Yeah, not long ago, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so anyway, but the most interesting part for all of you, or probably, is, well, Mark and uh, City are now visiting the city and scooping it out, right? We, we see their eyes. They're looking <laughs> everywhere. They're checking the place out. What do you think? What 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 is your been impression? Oh yeah, first impressions. First impressions. Um, impressions. Infrastructure, getting around, traffic. Um, you got everything you need here without being in the big cities such as Manila or Cebu, mm -hmm. but yet you got everything accessible. That's one of the issues Logistic. you get. Like the Palawan Islands are beautiful. It's a great place to go visit. But coming from the Western world into something like that, we don't have the conveniences yeah. like you do here and. Quite honestly, it's a it's it's a near impossible adjustment for somebody like myself, and I'm sure I could say the same for Steve. And I'm sure it was not easy 
to try to adjust to the Palawan versus here. This is mm. this this is perfectly set up logistically. You've got the international airport. Um, everybody's really nice and friendly. There's uh, we, we've immediately met so many different connections, not just with these guys, but just other people just uh, venturing out on our own. It's been fantastic. It's been a lot of fun and. Um, we we're it's definitely caught our attention here, and, and and if it wasn't for Michael and his videos, uh, we probably wouldn't even be here. We wouldn't even they know it exists. We, it wouldn't be on our radar wow. anyway. So yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. so it's really helped. It's You're really like an different. ambassador, right? Right. right. What, what, what do you think? I'm not paid anything. Yeah, I know, right? I think <laughs> her first impression. We, we always <laughs> talk about it. So Mark already answered the question. So. Is my spokesperson. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but you're, 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 yeah, you're definitely in an agreement. Mm -hmm. And now you guys also lived in uh, northern Luzon, correct? Yeah, Cavite. Yeah. Yep. Cavite. Well, northern, northern Luzon meaning vegan city. We also lived in vegan city. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. is, um, Me. yeah. Me too. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I, you visited I, I, I was, I was alive when I was living there, so I was living there. Yeah, uh, yeah that's true. <laughs> So yes, we did have a place up there, and we lived up there for a while. But um, yeah, in comparison, but ambiance really, it's yeah. very historical place. It is beautiful oh, up there too. Yeah, yeah. Like, we lived in Vegas. Is that yeah. the place where they still have a lot of the old Spanish yes. Yes. structures? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. intact. Yeah, it's 1600s. Yeah. They didn't bomb it because there was somebody there that says, "Don't touch my city." Wow. And then they still have the horse carriages wow. that you can take up oh, and down yeah, the streets. Yeah. Fun. Uh, okay, so and you have you have uh, considered other cities, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, when you're we're now looking for a new place with more conveniences, mm -hmm. absolutely right. And but you're still going to maintain a resort on Palawan. In well, Peru? we're it's it's not necessarily it's just, just going to be our house that we were building to live in. It's an Airbnb because it's in a gated community, and it's going to be easy to Airbnb it. Fair. fair. Um, so we'll do that for the meanwhile. Um, and if everything goes as we see in our mind that it could go here, we may put it up for sale later, or we might just keep it there. We, we don't know. We're flexible. We're yeah. good on that. But um, but meanwhile, we're we're already in the process of building it, and it it, it was a good investment, so we're going to keep it as that. And, Fair enough. And then down the road, we'll figure it out. All right. Awesome. awesome. And but you have been to like Cebu. You've been to Manila. You've been to. Uh, have you been to Davao yet? Not no, that's one. That's one city. Yeah. Okay. Either. But uh, so from the cities though that you have visited, um, how how are you? Uh, how how do you feel about Iloilo based on that? Not just based on Palawan. Oh no, there's there's. I mean, it's a, it's a no-brainer for us because I mean, I come. We came from Los Angeles. Her and I both live in Los Angeles, and traffic is one thing I don't do well with. Um, <laughs> But you just have to just suck it up and expect it in a place like that, as, as well as Manila and somewhat in Cebu. Cebu's not quite as bad as Manila, but here the infrastructure, I mean, it gets a little bit heavy during rush hour, but it doesn't come to a dead stop yeah, with, no, with no explanation. You're just going, why did the traffic stop? Like, <laughs> yeah. What is going yeah. on? Why are we what sitting here on? for 45 why? minutes why? straight? I'm going to ask, how easy do you think it is to move from like America or like, so America or like a Western world country yeah. to Iloilo. Like how much easier do you think it is versus, or not easier, versus maybe like Manila? So Manila is always going to be an easier city because if you are importing your goods, which we did, we brought a 20 foot okay. container over. Yeah. Your goods are going to go there first. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to have to go somewhere else like here. So right, they're not going right, to come here right. first. So they're mm -hmm. going to go there first. So you have this kind of like a, a, this logistics thing where it takes longer for it to get here. It's going to cost you more money. So if you're bringing stuff it's over, it just depends on what you're doing. Back. Right. Um, if you're not bringing anything other than your cells and your bank account, maybe, and that's right. it. Like a suitcase. Right, exactly. Then anywhere in the Philippines should be pretty easy to move to. Right. But as far as logistics, you know, bringing in, I mean, we brought our furniture, we brought our dogs. Yeah. So because we brought our so dogs. we have yeah. our dogs with us. So and we, you can't take domestic flights with pets. You can. You can. You can, okay. but, but we did it, we did it. But it's it's tricky. Get a pass. Yeah, so, so there's, there's all these. Dogs. Yeah, so, so coming in from the U.S., there's a website that the Philippine government has set up. Then you also have to do stuff with the American government as well. You got to make sure you've got all your stuff in line there. So, honestly, out of everything, bringing our pets here was probably one of the most stressful things out of right. all the stuff we had to do because of the paperwork. And as you well know, 
sometimes the way that the Philippine websites are set up with the government, it, it's sometimes difficult to navigate. Mm -hmm. So actually, I had to YouTube how to navigate this bringing in our pets multiple YouTube times. <laughs> if it wasn't for YouTube, I I was just at a I was I was like. I don't even know how to Why move. I don't know how to move forward because you can't move the next screen until you do this. But I don't even know how to do this because it's not. You can't figure it out. And so the YouTube videos really helped me. Okay, okay. So we got our dogs here. Yeah. Um, and we absolutely love our dogs to death. And that's one of the other reasons that we're considering moving from Palawan is because in our town there are no vets. And if something happened, our neighbor, our neighbor had an emergency just recently, and. The only way they can get a vet is the emergency fly their dog out off the island. Whoa. So it's it's kind of it's that's a scary. That's so stressful. It's scary, yeah. yeah. So that's one of the things, if you do come here as an expat, older, whatever, you got to think about the hospitals, and yeah, if you got yeah. kids, you got to think about schools, you got to think about all that stuff. And I was just so mesmerized by the island. Yeah. And I did the beauty of right? it. Right, and then I'm just going. Oh, I want to live here. And then you're there, and you're going. Wait a second. What about the hospitals? Well, this isn't exactly the best hospital in, yeah. in, in the Philippines. Yeah, so, yeah. and we had the same thing living on Boracay. We yep. were like mesmerized by the island. It's yep. absolutely gorgeous. I get it. The but beaches. at the end of the day, you need a lot of services, right. um, especially if you come from Western culture. We yeah. just we have an expectation built in. So. Yeah. Yeah, like the like the like you said, just basic shopping, going into a basic grocery store. You want you, actual vegetables. I mean, yeah, right. Yeah. You have expectations. And Porto Princess, uh, our premier store was Robinson's. That wow, was but you that was have the best one. we could get. We y'all don't have a Robinson's. Yeah, at least you had a Robinson's. We don't have nothing <laughs> in Porto Princess. We don't, we don't. We don't even have a brand there. I mean, believe it or not, we had a McDonald's. Wow, wow. Yeah, they don't put a McDonald's. Yeah, they have Robinson's. I bet McDonald's. they had a Jolly Bee. They don't even have a Jolly Bee. Wow, you know, they 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 have they have one McDonald's and they have two. What's the chicken place called? Oh, and ducks. And ducks. And ducks. Wow. Surprisingly, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Those are the only three commercial food places mm. in in the whole area. Of course. Yeah. And there's <laughs> and there's no Jollibee. And the reason wow, being, well, that because blows my mind. I talked to somebody about the logistics bringing yeah, the yeah, stuff yeah. over with McDonald's. They actually have to bring over a refrigerated truck from Manila with all the supplies for McDonald's. Oh, every and time. And they and they and they and they have to keep rotating this. Yeah. So. And the, the other thing is, is it's interesting, and I'm like, why does everybody serve these expensive cans of soda? Because they don't have the ability to refill the compressors, so the only place... CO2 is hard to get. Right. CO2 yeah. is impossible to get, so you don't have it. Because wow. a soda out of a, out of a, a fountain is like pennies yeah. versus if you buy it in a can of or... Right, it's right, expensive. Right, right. Yeah. So the only place that has the actual oh. dispenser is McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Because wow. they bring it at themselves. Yeah. They, they're like, yeah, yeah. McDonald's has an incredible. Oh, think about it. All over the world, right? They know how yeah, to navigate. Yeah, they, they logistics. really knew. How and that's to... that's a crazy place to navigate. I mean, sometimes you have to take a look at the logistics and go, is it really worth it? Yeah. 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 Because you still have to have your price point at a McDonald's price point. It's not like yeah. you can go. Well, price I'm on point, taste, everything. everything. Yeah, I'm yeah. on this. I'm on this island <laughs> over here, so McDonald's. I can double my. Pr no, you can't. Or yeah. you can use the cheap potatoes. No, you can. You got nope. everything has to be because it's already cheap. Yeah. <laughs> it's already as cheap as you're going to get. Yeah, so yeah. they already get the best pricing on all their supplies. Yeah, I wonder if it's a corporate store. Therefore, it doesn't matter if it loses it, money. But well, they all corporate regulated, I think. Right, right. Oh, but why would you want a franchise in a place where you know your margins are going to be next to zero? Right. Well, I'm, I'm sure. I'm yeah. this so McDonald's, and it's oh, and it's open 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And it's busy. Surprisingly, oh, like, well, then there, that, the majority, that's the answer right but there. But the I mean, the majority of the locals go there. I don't see as much foreigners. Condition. You're right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If they had more competition, then yeah. of course. Yeah, things would, would get a lot differently if Jollibee all of a sudden yeah. moved in. And Boracay, they would always never have like oh. certain things. Yeah, they'd be like, no chicken today, yeah. Yeah. no yeah. fries no today. Fries. You're like, what do you want? No fries. Fries are unavailable. Yeah. yeah. That became the famous live yeah. yeah. joke about even at McDonald's. Wait a second. You did have a Starbucks on the beach. We did. Right. We had yes, no on the beach. Yeah. Yes, we did. Yeah. Too. Yeah. But it was on the freaking Tuesday. beach. I'm yeah. like, it's just so cool. I got to wipe the sand on my feet to go into a Starbucks. I mean, this is the coolest thing ever. Yeah, Six dollar no. coffee. You can you can have Who anything. Who cares? Else. It was still on the beach. It was on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So we're gonna end it there, though. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we we've won over a couple new people to the island, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. We'll see. We'll see. 
to the Maybe they'll choose here. <laughs> Even though this is not well, to the Panay, yeah. right? To Ilo Ilo, but yes, off yeah. of another island, which is absolutely incredible. Anyway, so definitely check out uh, this whole area. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yes, Cubic's, Cubic's Park. Cubic's yeah, Park, Cubic's Cubic. Park. It's really unique and different, and that's what we like about it because there's a lot of things that are the kind of the same. So anyway, we'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. So you didn't get to ride the boat? No. Not this time. Maybe it'll be open next time. I think they're it's open on weekends. But it's actually quite clean and nice. I didn't yeah. realize. Like, I was like, oh, what is that? Okay, well, other than the plastic bag that flew in there, but that's the wind. Okay, so other than that, it's <laughs> nice and clean. myself wondering oh, what did happen to the last 10 I ran away with my life fast forward never turn back